You caught me as I was making my list of everything that I'm thankful for. Do you know what it means to be thankful? The dictionary tells us that thankful means pleased or expressing gratitude. Did you know November is the official month of gratitude? That's why I thought it would be a great idea to write it all down. I have a really long list of all the things I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for my family, uh, delicious food, the mountains. I think I'm, e I could just keep going on and on, but I think I'm even more thankful because I know that God has given me everything on my list. It tells us in God's word that he will always provide for our needs. Philippians 4.19 says, and my God will meet you all of your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. I'm willing to take a break from my list making to tell you a story about a very special time that God provided. This story comes from the Bible and we know that if it's from God's word, then it is. Yeah, that's right. It's true. There was a man named Elijah in the Bible. He was a prophet. That just means he loved and followed God and God used Elijah to tell many about him. At the point we find to Elijah in today's story, he is hiding from a king and his wicked wife. They want him dead. Whew. Not only was Elijah in hiding, he also knew there was a drought and a famine, so no rain and very little food. Where he was hiding, he saw the brook drying up and knew that he was going to run out of water soon to drink. But he knew God would provide. Finally, God spoke to Elijah and told him to go to Zarephath. There he would find a widow that would take care of him. That was all the directions that God gave Elijah. And you know what? Elijah didn't say, Oh Lord, that's too far. Or how will I know which woman will help me? Or even that whole place only worships false gods. No, he obeyed and he went. The town was about 100 miles from where he was at. So Elijah grabbed his motorcycle and sped off. Oh wait, you're right. There weren't any motorcycles. He tightened his sandals and walked. 100 miles is a long way to walk. I bet he was so tired and hungry and thirsty by the time he got there. Now remember, God didn't tell him the woman's name or what she looked like. So Elijah just had to trust God to show him the way. When he arrived, he saw a woman collecting sticks. He stopped her and asked for a drink of water. She didn't argue or ask questions. She immediately went to get the water. Because of her quick response, Elijah knew this was the woman that God spoke of. She, so he asked her for some bread. She said to Elijah, As the Lord your God lives, I do not have bread, only a handful of flour in a bin and a little oil in a jar. And see, I am gathering a couple of sticks that I may go in and prepare it for myself and my son, that we may eat it and die. Don't be afraid. Go home and bake a small cake of bread for me first. Then bake some bread for your son and for yourself, Elijah said. Elijah could speak with boldness to the widow because the Lord said, The bin of flour shall not be used up, nor shall the jar of oil run dry until the day the Lord sends rain on the earth. What do you think the woman did? She went home and did what Elijah asked her to do. She made his bread, then made her son some bread, and finally made herself some. Guess what? The ingredients didn't run out. Elijah stayed with the woman and her son that night. The next day, when the widow went to prepare the bread, she still had ingredients left over. Every time she made the bread, the flour and oil didn't run out. 
This was an amazing miracle. God's power had caused the poor widow to have a never ending supply of flour and oil. God once again provided for Elijah in a miraculous way. Not only did God provide for Elijah, his servant, he also provided for a poor widow from Zarephath and her son. Nothing is too hard for God. God is powerful and he is able to take care of his children. When God shows his power in our lives, others may see his power and come to believe in the one true God too. Oh, there's one more thing on my list I didn't mention earlier, Jesus. God provided Jesus to save us. It is through Jesus' death and resurrection that God has rescued us from our sins. I am so thankful for his sacrifice. Let's be thankful for God's provision this season. Okay, I'm gonna get back to my list.